you see, while uh, the government is happy about the fact that uh, the GDP numbers are high, uh, it's happy about the fact that uh, you know taxation revenue is going up, GST collection is going up. These are positive signs and positive cues. But while all of that is the positive story, there is a current of our, uh, account trade and fiscal deficit which is a huge threat for us. Uh, inflation remains a huge concern. And now, uh, as the newspaper reported, there are some headwinds we need to be prepared for. What's your assessment about the Indian economy? My assessment about the Indian economy, Sakit, is that um, uh, we cannot, we are not, we are not isolated, as some people would tend to believe, from all that is happening in the global economy. And we know that um, this is an unprecedented synchronized downturn in the global economy that is taking place uh, with North America, Europe, China, all, uh, you know, seeing dramatic reduction in their uh, growth, in their growth, including recession, both, you know, which is now looming in Europe and uh, the U.S. And, but we probably are the one bright spot in this gloomy uh, global environment. Because we still, despite, for example, the World Bank cutting its estimate of our growth rate, it's still six and a half percent, which everybody else would sort of really, uh, you know, give their left leg for. Uh, our next year's growth is also five and a half percent. And therefore, we remain a very good story as far as uh, foreign investors are concerned and as far as global economy observers are concerned. Now, about the twin deficit that you're talking about, yeah. the current account deficit and the fiscal deficit. I am not so concerned about the fiscal deficit because, as you said, the GST revenues are buoyant. Uh, the government has enough fiscal space. Uh, the non the non tax revenues uh, th that can be another focus of the government, you know, to uh, to, to 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 give themselves more uh, fiscal space than they needed, and it can be done even now. On the on the current account on the external side. I think there is now uh, what is required is far bigger focus on how to uh, push our exports mm. in an environment where demand, external demand, uh, would be going down. So how to raise our market share in the global economy mm. Mm. And, okay. the, and rather, rather than grow only with the global economy. Which no, fa has fair enough. So what I'm going to do, Mr. Kumar, is that uh, through the course of our conversation, we're going to break this down into specifics and maybe you can tell me uh, what your view is. So first of all, inflation and price rise. Uh, do you feel that we have done enough when there will be these headwinds or there will be a global crisis and of course uh, we will not remain fully untouched? Have we done enough to be able to contain this? You see, the problem about this statement is that you don't know what is enough until it is enough. Mm. Therefore, you can't really you know, anticipate this. Let us put it like this, that the RBI is seized of the matter. The Monetary Policy Committee is very conscious of it. And the fact that they have been, uh, they have been uh, front loading their interest rates, uh, you know, interest rate hikes, uh, shows that they are prepared to do whatever is required to be done. And my own estimate is that inflationary expectations are not yet completely sort of rooted as it were. They have not taken root in this country. Because if you look at the for any survey, etc., the consumer and the investor, they are not expecting this inflation to rise any further. Now, that's the real crisis. Mm -hmm. You know, and that starts to happen. But then that becomes, that gets cascading down. So from what I can see uh, on inflation control, inflation, reigning in inflation, the RBI is doing the right things. And moreover, more than the interest rate hikes, if you if you if you observe the liquidity conditions in the market today, for the first time liquidity liquidity is tight, so that the actual interest rate is higher than what the repo rate uh, would would imply. Hmm. 